so um uh, we are going to have our uh, topic on um, a very pertinent topic that is the nutritive value and technological aspects of millets and uh, as uh, uh, in in fact india has taken a lead towards getting this uh, international year of millets 2023 declared because of the fact that um, uh, india is the most uh, uh, is the highest producer of millets and has uh, abundant production and area under cultivation under millets and that is emerging as the necessity for today's uh, world and yeah so um, towards the um, towards the target of a zero hunger world and for higher sustainability definitely millets are one of the uh, smartest choices which we have uh, what we have currently on our plate is that we mostly have our, our rice wheat maize predominant uh, uh, sections and uh, we are hardly Yes, madam. Continue. So, uh, basically, we are uh, we are hardly utilizing uh, less than uh, one percent of our genetic pool, whereas nature has given us abundant uh, uh, plethora of variations in our diets or or our food basket, and uh, it is because of the fact that uh, we've been persistently cultivating only limited crops that uh, the the pests and diseases. Uh, they have become resistant to the to the uh, already uh, already pesticides and insecticides which are being given to them the soils have also been selectively deprived of nutrients which these uh, rice wheat maize uh, systems are needing and also uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, the climate change also there is a wide variation and alteration in the periods of rainfall and in the uh, when 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 the suitable uh, temperatures for cultivation of wheat is there is a lot of uh, lot of variation uh, in the and uh, in fact a lot of uh, uh, confusions uh, which are uh, uh, which are there in the minds of uh, farmers when to cultivate because the temperature which used to be there uh, in in the first week of december is now um, arriving only uh, in in uh, this third or fourth week of december so the, the 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 cropping patterns are also liable to change and uh, the only solution to these are uh, the ancient grains like millets and pseudo cereals now uh, in the alternate grains we have millets that is uh, the, the major and minor millets, which we'll be talking about. Apart from that, we have pseudo cereals, which have, which, uh, which are comprising of amaranth, buckwheat, and quinoa. About that also a little bit I'll be discussing. And these alternate crops like millets, they are actually climate star smart. That is, they are able to tolerate diverse agroclimatic regions. They are not very uh, specific that, okay, um, uh, in this temperature, they are not going to grow. They can withstand the vagaries of the nature and temperature. They do not require too much of, uh, uh, of nutrients for their growth. And therefore, it is suitable for organic cultivation. You do not, do not need to apply fertilizers. You do not need to uh, apply any pesticides also because uh, of the fact that uh, uh, that uh, they are naturally very hardy and they are naturally rich in phenolics and tannins, which are responsible for the uh, hardiness or the tolerance level of the uh, plants to withstand the uh, various pests attack and uh, the vagaries of the climate. Then these are very highly nutritious. They are gluten free. That is, there are certain proteins to which uh, uh, humans are uh, allergic to, but uh, like there is um, right now, there is 1% um, population which is uh, declared to be gluten free, but I'm sure there are many more who are suffering with the irritable bowel syndrome and other uh, such 
uh, disorders, but they are not aware of the facts. So these are uh, offering a, a different type of protein makeup for making up our food. They are unexplored, so it's a it's a bounty for for scientists like me that I have something new material to uh, play with.